Hey everyone, this is Zachman18 here with you once again, and after a successful first game of Pressure Luck 2010 for the Wii, it's now time to do game two of Jeopardy for the Wii. Uh, I currently have a one game winnings total of $16,700. Will we add more to that? We're going to find out. And if you guys saw my first game, I did have a special guest. And he is here once again. Dad, say hello to everybody. Hello. So, Dad, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. This is Jeopardy. We'll just go ahead and skip all this, and let's get started. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. And my character, and let's go. More than 300 game shows have come and gone since Jeopardy premiered in syndication in 1984. This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Player one. I am. Player two. Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Hi, everyone. Let's go to work in the Jeopardy round. All right. Who's are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories? Animals. Okay. How about them tigers? Mm -hmm. I need more space. Okay. Historic Munich. Very, very good. And Bible belts. Player one, make a All selection. All right, Dad, you get to make the selection. Point the Wii remote at the screen How about and press tigers? the A button to select okay. the clue. This tiger is the great spokes cat for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Tony. What is Tony? Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding. Good for you. $200 to start out with. Choose again, player one. How about tigers? All right, here with the clue is Kelly. Here's Kelly from the, the clue crew. The tiger has these features spaced farther apart than other species do. On each individual tiger, they're unique, like fingerprints. Here's what we were looking for. It's stripes. Stripes. Interesting. All right, how Player about one. them Tiger 600? Tiger is the second rank in this organization for young boys. Is it Boy Scouts? Cub. Cub Scouts? Okay, Player 1. Tiger Cub. Cub Scouts. <laughs> that is correct. All right. How Player about one, them tigers for 800? Again. Tigers are the largest cats, and the tiger named for this Russian region is the largest tiger. It's Player One. Bengal? Oh, no. Siberia. Yeah, Siberia. Oh, good. Select again. All right, let's finish the category for 1,000. The largest population of wild tigers is found in this Asian country on about 30 wildlife reserves. Let's hear it, player one. Uh, India. Good. All right. We finished that complete category. One, back to you. Okay. What do you want to go next, Dad? Let's go with uh, animals for two minutes. The striped species of this mammal is identifiable by the two white stripes down its back, forming a V. Oh, um... Could be. We're talking about the skunk. It is the skunk, wow. You get to pick again, Almost player one. one. The cape species of this bovine of southern Africa is extremely dangerous to man and has never been domesticated. Uh... Go ahead. Oh, 
shoot. Layer three. Samuel says buffalo. No. Oh, that's right. We return Dad to disagreed with him, three. but he's going to pick animal six. Here's Kelly. The cuddly koala feeds almost exclusively on the leaves of this tree eucalyptus. of the myrtle family. What is the eucalyptus? Eucalyptus. Yes, one. Yes. Puts us at $3,200. Layer one. Animal Back to, on the Galapagos Islands, the marine type of this lizard feeds on algae that it gathers off rocks at low tide. Okay, layer one. Uh, iguana. Yeah. What is iguana? Four thousand dollars. You again, layer Animals one. Animals a thousand. This small Andean rodent is prized for its fur, which can be gray with a deep blue underfur. It's, it's layer one. Uh, mink? Chinchilla. Sure. Yeah. What is chinchilla? That's right. Way to go. All right. Layer All right. one. Back to you. For and I'll, and I'll select the category this time. How about I need more space for 200? At KFC, you can lunch on chicken. At KSC, this place, you can lunch with an astronaut. Let's hear it. Layer Kennedy one. Space Center. That's right. right. Looks like I picked a pretty good category. You get I need to more pick space again, player one. This Mattel doll became an astronaut in 1965, perhaps inspiring the young Sally Ride. Yes, player one. Where's Barbie? That's correct. <laughs> Choose again. Space for one. 600. Now available again, Quisp, which has a space alien mascot, is a type of this breakfast food. Player two. Let's see what Katie says. She thinks it's this yogurt. Oh. It's not. We have a 50 50 chance. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? All right. My dad doesn't want to go for it. Let's hear it, player three. Well, if he gets it wrong, then we can get it right. Oh. So we can get it right now. They Anyone else care to try to come up with yogurt's a Yogurt's wrong, sausage wrong, so it okay, must be... Okay, layer one. Cereal. Oh, oh yeah, a quiz of cereal. Yeah. Layer one. Back Space here. 300. That's the Daily Double. All right. Yeah, it's the Daily Double. And you're in the loop. What about a thousand? Now. You need to select your weight. 800, okay. So to put us at $7,000, let's see the clue. Okay, here is the clue. This TV series wasn't about the Swiss family Robinson, but mm. the space family Robinson. All right. Lost in space. Lost in space. Congratulations, Plus you're still in first. Layer $7,000. Layer one. Finished category for 1000 This 1956 film was a sci-fi version of The Tempest. Robbie the Robot was inspired by Ariel. Oh. My golly. Here's the response we were looking for. Forbidden Planet. Oh, I know that one. Layer All right. one. Pick again. You pick the category. We have historic Let's music. Go with very, very, very good. Okay, very, very good. Two hundred. Dawes Butler voiced this animated TV hound. Uh, underdog. It's layer one. Uh, Huckleberry, Huckleberry hound. hound. Right. Seventy-two hundred dollars. Select Can again. Can I go with very, very good? Four hundred. These are forever in a top ten hit from 1967. Let's hear it, player one. Dad has an idea of what it is. Strawberry fields. Strawberry fields. You got it. Seventy-six hundred dollars. You again, player one. Six hundred. Pro boxers have been battling under this Marcus's rules since the late 1800s. Okay, layer one. Gooseberry? Queensberry. Yeah, Queensberry. That is good. All right. Very, very good Please 800. Pick again, layer one. Tiger Avenue in Theodore Geisel's first book. Oh, I know it. I want to ring in. Yes, layer one. Uh, Mulberry Street. That's correct. <laughs> Dr. Seuss's first book. We return to you. Very, very good one. for a thousand. Inept policeman in Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. I'm not sure about this one. 
Do you have any idea where it is? Player two. Katie says Cloudberry. Oh, nope. She is wrong. Anyone yeah, 50 50 chance. Let's see if Samuel rings in and and if he gets it wrong, then we can get it right. He's going to ring three. in. He's going to say Dogberry. Yeah. And that's hey, right. you're on the plus side. He's back on the plus side with $800. Again, He's going to pick three. Bible Belt 200. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says that if someone smiteth you here, offer also the other. Oh, um. Katie. Player two. Was cheek. She's right. We return to you. Go with Bible Belt two. 400. After striking down his brother in Genesis, this man said, "My punishment is greater than I can bear." Yeah. Lazarus. Here's the correct response. Cain. Cain. Oh. You again, player She's going to pick Bible Belt 600. In Numbers chapter 20, after the Israelites complained, Moses smote one of these twice, and water came out. Gosh, I don't know that. Katie's going to ring it again, and she says, tree. No, that's not right. And she's wrong. She's down to negative 2,000 Anyone 2, else try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player three. Samuel says, horse. No, sorry. So now we can get the money. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Yes, player one. What is rock? I was going to say rock. <laughs> right you are. Are you serious? Yeah, Choose again, work. player one. In a book named for Moses' successor, this man smites the Gibeonites, the Hebronites, and the Eglonites. Gosh, I don't know that. Okay, player three. Samuel says, David. No. He's wrong. Anyone else? I think we should skip it. Katie. It's player two. Joshua. That's it. She's right. Hmm. You get to pick again, player two. And we're going to stop here for part two. I mean, part one, and we'll see you all in part two.